are going to fill your mind with the mathematical ideas. Now the people say that the solving mathematics is not fun, it's boring, but do you really think so? No. Those who do not understand mathematics, only they can find it boring. Otherwise, mathematics is just like life wire. Have you ever seen a dumb mathematicians? No, mathematicians are always considered smart person. And right now, even in the 21st century, the perspective of determining a person as smart or dumb is based on how smart he is in his calculations. Because those who are smart in mathematics, they are smart everywhere. So without wasting much of your time, let's directly go and start solving the exercise 7.3. So here I go. So here I start my first question. It goes like question number one. How to find the integral of sine square 2x plus 5 dx? Now you know that there is no direct method or direct formula for finding the integration of sine square something. But first let me just substitute 2x plus 5 as theta or t so that at least I can have a better generalized form. So here I go, let 2x plus 5 as t, so 2 dx is dt. So my question becomes sine square t and dt over 2. Now how to solve this one? Those who have studied in standard 11 in the trigonometric functions and the uh, angles, multiple angles and sub multiple angles, then there was one formula which says that cos 2x is 1 minus 2 sin square x. It means take this on this side and you find 2 sin square x is 1 minus cos 2x. So you need to have 2 there inside but we have just half there. So what we do that we write 1 by 4 here outside and then just inside this you write 2 sin square t dt. Now you see we actually get this form. So at the place of 2 sin square t you can write 1 minus cos 2x that is 1 over 4 integration of 1 minus cos 2t dt. Now resolve this expression into the integrals of the two functions where the first function is just 1 that is 1 dx minus 1 by 4 integration of cos 2t dt. Now integration of 1 is just x sorry I don't need to write x I'm writing x sometimes so 1 by 4 this is t minus 1 by 4 integration of cos 2t is sin 2t over 2 plus c now the final answer I have to substitute the value of t as 2x plus 5 so there it go 1 by 4 2x plus 5 minus 1 over 8 sin 2 times t that makes it 4x plus 10 plus c. This is your final answer. Now I go for question number 2. Now question number 2 goes like find the integration of sin 3x cos 4x ds. Now again you find that even substitution is not going to work because the angles here are different. Now this is again if you go into the standard 11 find that this is called that how to express the sum of the t ratios into the product or the product of the trigonometric functions into the sum. So this is already in the product form and just to help you memorize the formula, I just write the formula this goes like sin, it goes like this, sin a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b and sin a minus b is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b just add them up so these two they will cancel each other and you have 2 sin a cos b can be written as sin of a plus b plus sin of 
a minus b so here we have this form but we don't have two so what i do that i introduce two there so i write half outside and two inside now this is just directly matching the form and at the place of this you can take this as a and this as b so what do you get 1 over 2 sine integration you can write sine a plus b that is sine 3x plus 4x directly 7x plus sine a minus b 3x minus 4x you give minus x dx and you know that the sine of minus theta sine of minus theta is minus sine theta so the instead of this plus i write minus but in the next line so that goes 1 over integration of sine 7x dx minus 1 over 2 because this half is the part of this whole expression that is half integration of sine x dx and if you just integrate you get half integration of sine x is minus cos x so integration of sine 7x will be minus cos 7x divided by differentiation of 7x that is just 7 so what it will become this will become minus cos 7x over 7 and this one as usual this is cos x negative also so here i write this as plus so the answer is final answer here c is constant of integration and there you see it is minus 1 over 14 cos 7x plus 1 over 2 cos x plus c and this is your i so this is the solution for this particular question i will go for question number three now question number three is just another dimensions of the same form it goes that find the integration of cos 2x cos 4x and cos 6x so cos 2x cos 4x and cos 6x dx now just you saw that i wrote there sine a plus b that was sine a cos b plus cos a sine b sine a minus b sine a cos b minus cos a sine b and the cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b and the cos a minus b is uh, sine a sine b like the cos a minus b will be in terms of sine a sine b the cos a minus b is cos a cos b plus sine a sine b so here we are getting two cos so the rule says there are if you remember the formula so it goes like cos a plus b plus cos a minus b will give you 2 cos a cos b now i don't have 2 anywhere so here i write i half outside to inside but there are three terms we have just two terms here so it means we will keep take only two terms and keep the third term as it is so it means i write here 1 by 2 integration let me keep 2x and 6x together so i write cos 4x here as it is and at the place of this inside the curly bracket i write 2 cos 2x and cos 6x dx now this is half integration and the place of this cos 4x this one cos 4x as it is and at the place of this two times this and this i write cos some of the two angles like the 2a and the 6a 2a plus 6a will give you 8a plus cos 2a minus 6a that gives you minus 4a but cos of minus theta is positive cos theta so there will be no change in the value of this minus 6x so you can write like 2x minus 6x is 4x dx now again if i divide this dissolve this bracket then what i get half integration cos 4x cos 8x dx plus half integration cos square 4x dx now at the place of this again i can use the same formula so i have to have 2 here and then this will become 1 by 4 so this question is 1 by 4 this is 2 cos this and this can cause some of the angles so 4x plus 8x is cos 12x 
So cos 12x plus cos 4x minus 8 is cos minus 4x, but the cos of minus theta is cos theta. So you can write just cos 4x dx plus this also I write as 1 by 4 and there I write 2 cos square 4x dx. Now there is also one more formula in the very same form also we can write that if I write this cos 4x the formula goes like 1 plus cos 2 theta is 2 cos square theta. So the 2 cos square 4x, 2 cos square 4x will be 1 plus cos 8x. So here I have 2 cos square 4x, so at the place of this I can write as 1 plus cos 8x. So here only I can write, so this becomes 1 plus cos 8x dx. Now I am running out of the space. Now but before clearing the, some part of the screen, I would like to tell you that here we have three terms. 1 by 4 cos 12x, 1 by 4 cos 4x, 1 by 4 1, 1 by 4 cos 8x. So first let me clear this part of the screen. And so I write after this, so this is my integral i there. So here I write i. So there I have 1 by 4 integration of cos 12x. So 1 by 4, now I integrate directly, integration of cos 12x is sin 12x over differentiation of 12x that is 12 plus 1 by 4 integration of cos 4x, 1 by 4, sorry it is cos, so you will get sin 4x by 4 plus 1 by 4 integration of 1 dx that is x plus 1 by 4 integration of cos 8x give you sin 8x upon 8 plus c. This is your final answer and this is done. Now I will go for question number 4. Now this time question number 4 I have to integrate sin cube 2x plus 1 but there is no any direct formula for that. But there is a formula which can help us. The formula goes like this sin 3 theta is 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta. 4 sin cube theta. This is the formula for sin 3 theta. Now I mix sin cube theta as subject. So 4 sin cube theta will be 3 sin theta minus sin 3 theta. I don't need 4 here. So 4 comes here and 4 comes here. So now you see that it is going into this form, but before that we have this obstacle. So let me get rid of this 2x plus 1 by proper substitution and that goes like 2x plus 1 as t. So 2 dx as dt over 2. So you can write half outside integration of sin cube t dt and then there you write half integration of sin cube theta we can write directly as 3 over 4 sin t minus sin 3t over 4 dt now i'm getting two integrals but first one is 3 over 8 integral of sin t 3 over 8 integral of sin t dt minus 1 over 8 integral of sin 3t dt now on integration what I find integration of sin theta is minus cos theta and this one become minus 3 over 8 cos t. So that is cos and at the place of t I directly substitute 2x plus 1 because I am running out of space minus integration of sin 3t will be cos minus cos 3t over 3. So this minus and this minus coming from here will become plus 1 over 24, plus 1 over 24 and the cos 3t. So cos and the place of 3t I write here 3 times this t that is 6x plus 3. So cos 6x plus 3 plus c and this is your answer. Now I'll go for question number 5. Now in question number 5 I have to find the integral of 
sin cube t and cos cube t then how can i do that they are this both these numbers are odd so you can take one cos or one sin out of this depending on your situation i try to get one cos out now the question is that why not sin yes i can take sin also common there is no problem with that but since the differentiation of cos x gives you minus sin x and i don't want to go directly into the negative signs it is not that this will create any problem it is only problem that i can avoid it so i'm avoiding it so here what i'll do that i express this one keep 1 cos t sorry right now there is no t so 1 cos x outside this is sin cube x and this is cos square x dx now there you see cos cube x i have written as cos square x and cos x you could also have written sin cube x as sin square x and sin x now the problem here is that there is no problem at all that this is cos square x can be written as 1 minus sin square x so what i do that i write this sin cube x 1 minus sin square x cos x ds now substitution so now this if i take it as a function like a function of sin x then cos x ds now it makes some sense so i say let sin x as t so is differential cos x dx just give you dt now my question becomes i is integration this is t q so t q and that is 1 minus t square 1 minus t square dt that you can write it as t q dt minus t to the power 5 dt on integration this gives you t to the power 5 over 5 Minus t to the power six over six plus c, and now replace these expressions with the value of t. Now will be sine x. So this becomes sine to the power five x over five minus sine to the power six x over six plus c, and this is done. Now go for question number six. Now here we have to find the integral of sine x, sine two x, and sine three x. Again, it is just very much same like the cos x, cos 2x, cos 4x. Now, before that, I want to change this product as a sum. So, I would like to revise the formula that goes like cos a plus b is actually cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. This you might have studied in the standard 11. Now, cos a Minus b is cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. Now, if you want sine a sine b, it means you have to subtract either the equation, like either this from this or this from this. If you subtract this and directly into this form, you'll get both these signs are negative. So, I would like to flip it, just like I'm subtracting the first equation from the second one. So my order goes like this. I write this one first. Cos a minus b minus cos a plus b. Then you see that these two cancel each other, and this becomes positive. So this becomes two sine a sine b. Now here I have got something like sine a sine b. So I keep any one outside. I just keep sine two x outside. So half. Sine two x outside, and then inside the curly bracket, I write two sine x and sine three x. So sine x and sine three x dx. Now at the place of this, I have to write this one. So a your a is x and your b is this. And finally, you are going to get your answer in terms of the cos. And the cos of negative is also positive, so there does not make any difference whether you are getting x minus 3x or 3x minus x. So now this will become 1 by 2 sine 2x, and at place of this I can write like suppose here I am writing x. So this is my a and this is my b. So a minus b x minus 3x is minus 2x. 
but I'll avoid this minus sign because this does not make any difference because inside the cosine minus theta of cosine is always positive cos theta. So this becomes cos and at the place of x minus 3x I write as 2x. Now minus cos then add these two. So x plus 3x will give you 4x dx. Now the tricky part. From this sine 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 I have reached to the level of sine cos again. So again now 1 over 2 integration sine 2x cos 2x dx minus integration half here sine 2x cos 4x dx so now this one you see is 2 sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta but again you need 2 here so I can make this as 1 over 4 and at the place of this 2 sin 2x cos 2x I can write directly sin 4x dx this is done minus again this will become 4 and I write 2 here so this will become 2 sin cos 2 sin a 2 sin a cos b and just you saw I derived the same formula similar formula actually in terms of the uh, sin and cos so I found that sin a plus b plus sin a minus b so at the place of this sin 2x since I have written 1 by 4 it means 2 is already there so I can write my a is 2x and the b is 4x so here I have 2x plus 4x that is 6x and 2x minus 4 but this one mind you that sign and the negative sign of negative argument gives you a negative value so I get sine 2x so I write sine 2x plus 4x I will get sine 6x dx and again I am getting negative so I write this one as plus 1 by 4 and sine a minus b that is 2x minus 4x that is 2x so sine 2x dx I have compensated this minus sign and at the same time I have divided the whole expression into these three terms now I need to clear this part of spin so that I can write their integrals directly there so now I write their integrals directly there without wasting much of your time so let me find this last answer that is i as 1 over 2 sorry 1 over 4 integral of sine 4x will give you minus cos 4x over 4 integral of sin 6x now minus 1 over 4 integral of sin 6x will give you minus cos 6x over 6 plus 1 by 4 again and integral of sin 2x will give you minus sin sorry minus cos so minus cos 2x over 2 plus c that is constant of integration now let me simplify the whole expression so this goes as minus 1 over 16 cos 4x plus 1 over 24 cos 6x minus 1 over 8 cos 2x plus c let me put this all in a box so that you can find that this is your final answer now here this is the answer now I'll go for question number 7 now integral of sin 4x sin 8x sin 4x sin 8x dx now let me write half outside 2 inside so this becomes 2 sin this and just you saw that we had just in the previous question we had a situation where we wrote cos this minus this that is 4x minus 8x minus cos 4x plus 8x and this is dx so this is 1 over 2 integration of cos 4x dx this is actually you are getting as minus 4x but cos of minus theta is always positive cos theta 
and here it is minus 1 over 2 integration of cos 12 x dx. Now let me find their integrals directly. So 1 over 2 integration of sin 4x cos 4x is sin 4x over 4 minus 1 over 2 this is sin 12x over 12 plus c that is constant of integration now simplify these two forms this becomes 1 by 8 sin 4x minus 1 over 24 sin 12x plus c this is your i and this is the solution of this question now let me go for question number 8 so now i have to find integral i of question goes like 1 minus cos x over 1 plus cos x dx now again if you go into the sub multiple form there is a formula that says that 1 minus cos x is 2 sin square x over 2 1 plus cos x as 2 cos square x over 2 so here i write this as 2 sin square x by 2 over 2 cos square x by 2 dx 2 to cancel that is integral of tan square x by 2 dx that is this is not directly integrable so i just convert this into the form of 6 square x minus 1 so there i write this as 6 square x by 2 minus 1 now i dissolve these two into two integrals so this is integral 6 square x over 2 dx minus integration of 1 dx and integration of the sec square x by 2 integration of sec x sec square x is tan x integration of sec square something is tan something over the differential of x by 2 so this gives you tan x by 2 divided by differentiation of x by 2 that is 1 by 2 minus integration of 1 is x plus c the final answer goes like this you can write i s 2 tan x over 2 minus x plus c and that is constant of integration and this question is done now question number 9 it goes that find the integral of cos x over 1 plus cos x dx now whenever you see the 1 plus cos x you can directly should click into your head that if 1 plus cos x is multiplied by 1 minus cos x will become 1 minus cos square x and that is nothing but sin square x we will do the same thing so here i multiply this cos x with 1 minus cos x with in the numerator and 1 plus cos x 1 minus cos x in the denominator then here you find this is cos x 1 minus cos x and this becomes directly sin square x 1 plus cos x 1 minus cos square x gives you 1 minus sin square x using the algebraical identity a plus b multiplied with a minus b gives you a square minus b square so cos x and this is minus 1 now what i do that this one gives you the one thing that if you dissolve this question into the two integrals then perhaps you get one recognizable form and which is integration of cos x over sin square x minus second one is if you multiply so cos x into 1 over this i have written and second one will be cos x into cos x that's minus cos square x minus all the there that is cos square x over sin square x dx and this is nothing but the cot square x dx and this is nothing but cosec x cortex dx now this form is integrable the integration of cosec x cortex is minus cosec x but this one you cannot die integrate directly so what you have to do that at the place of this cot square x you write cosec square x minus 1 so now we'll have three integral one is cosec x cortex dx 
other is cosec square x and one is one dx. So I write the answer directly. So the integration of cosec x cot x is minus cosec x minus integration of cosec square x gives you minus cot x so this minus will become plus and that is cot x minus and minus this is plus integration of 1 dx gives you x plus c as constant of integration and here it goes this is your answer now i will do one more question in this video and that is question number 10 so again here i have to find the integration of 1 over sine to the power 4x dx now I just discussed the formula that 2 sin square x can be written as 1 minus cos 2x. So just write half outside and then, okay don't write half outside right now. First I would like to write this as integration of sin square x whole square. So this sin square x gives you sin to the power 4x. So now we have sin square x, but I want 2 inside and since this is square, it means if I write here 2, actually indirectly I am writing 4 there. So to compensate for this one, I write this 1 by 4 outside. Because this 2 square is 4 and this 1 by 4 becomes 1. So there is no difference in these two forms, they are just identical. Now here at the place of 1 by 4, at the place of 2 sin square x, I write 1 minus cos 2x whole square. So 1 minus cos 2x whole square dx. Now if I expand this, I get 1 by 4 integration 1 plus cos square 2x minus 2 cos 2x dx. I did nothing. I simply expanded this using the identity a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab. Now this gives me 3 integrals where the first one is 1 over 4, 1 dx plus second one is 1 by 4 cos square 2x dx and the last one is minus 2 over 4 integration of cos 2x dx now in this condition here see we have one more formula which goes like 2 cos square x to cos square x can be written as 1 plus cos 2x now here you see you have cos square 2x something very much like this so but we don't have 2 so i write 2 here and this 4 i write it as 8 so 2 over 8 now 2 cos square 2x can be written as 1 plus cos double of the angle so this is 2x so that will become 4x so my integral now will become integral 1 by 4 1 dx plus 1 by 8 that is integral of 2 cos square 2x which gives you 1 plus cos 4x dx and minus 1 over 2 that is 2 by 4 actually integration of cos 2x dx now let me simplify or I can do it directly there just to save some space. So this integration 1 by 4x plus 1 by 8x for this part and 1 by 8 integration of cos 4x gives you sin 4x over 4 minus 1 by 2 sin 2x over 2 plus c. Now 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 this is 3 by 8, so 3 by 8x plus 1 over 32 sin 4x minus 1 by 4 sin 2x plus c and this is your final answer. So now the 10 questions we have solved very much properly explained and much in detail. In the next video we will solve the remaining questions because it takes time, energy and the uh, the spirit to continue it's not that easy but i'm not giving up and i should suggest that you should also not give up thank you very much keep practicing because unless you practice there will be no difference in your life just by watching these videos because learning mathematics is just like playing badminton until you play unless you practice you will never succeed into that have a very very nice time thank you very much stay safe